This is Melissa Lampert from the KHTS News Department, and we're here in studio today with Cameron Smythe, who has a special announcement to make. Mr. Smythe, would you like to begin? Sure. I'm. Uh, you know, I think. Uh, you know, most people know that over the last several months, I've been uh, looking into and have been encouraged to uh, consider running for uh, the city council again and coming back uh, into uh, in, into public life and. Uh, after a, a long time of, of connecting with friends and supporters and uh, most importantly uh, my family uh, we've decided that uh, santa clarita uh, is the right place and uh, now is the the right time for uh, for me to uh, to step back into uh, public service okay great so um so I understand that you have quite a bit of experience in the political world. Um, you are a former assemblyman in the 38th Assembly District, and you have formerly served as our mayor. Can you tell me a little bit about your experience? Right, and I think that that's something that uh, that really will set me apart uh, during the campaign and, and help me uh, get back, uh, hit the ground running uh, you know, once uh, once I'm elected. And uh, I've got the experience of, uh, of being on the council uh, and uh, spending six years uh, serving in, in the state legislature. Uh, but, you know, times are different from uh, when I was uh, first elected uh, to, the, to the city council. And I've, you know, I'm a much different uh, person and a much different uh, uh, elected official, I think, and uh, and much of that is because uh, you know I now uh, I have three kids uh, that are you know living and I'm um, raising here in, in Santa Clarita. All of them are in uh, in elementary school. Um, you know that's why I have this little bit of gray hair now. Is uh, that that came from my daughter? You know, after any anybody who has daughters out there, you know, that's what gives you the gray hair. And uh, and, and so that uh, you know that gives me a, a, a different perspective. And while I've I've been out of office for uh, for a few years. I haven't been out of the community, and I think uh, I've been actually really in the weeds with uh, you know, with Santa Clarita, uh, living the life that uh, that most of us, uh, most residents do here, which is you know getting off of work and trying to help the kids with their homework and figure out Common Core. Um, that's a whole new concept for me as well, and yeah, understanding that. <laughs> but then you know getting the kids ready for getting them fed, get their homework done, get drop one at practice, then drive across town, drop the other one off, hoping that uh, practice doesn't get done early or there's someone that can pick them up, yeah. getting them home, you know, and and that's where, you know, I really uh, first became, you know, encouraged again about uh, about getting ready to run for office is, you know, talking with, uh, with with parents and families that are out in Santa Clarita and some of the concerns that they have and, uh, you know, some of the leadership that they think uh, I can provide uh, moving the city forward. Okay, great. And uh so I, I understand also that a common question you've been getting recently is, are you doing this to set yourself up for a position in a higher office? And would you like to address that question for our no, listeners? No, th thank you very much. And um, if I had wanted to run for higher office, I already would have done so. Uh, when I left the legislature in 2012, I did so uh, with the intent uh, to come back home and be a better husband and a better father, um, and, and I meant that. And since that time, uh, there have been uh, opportunities to run for the state senate, uh, for Congress, for the county board of supervisors, and all of which uh, I have chosen not to do because I meant what I said. Mm -hmm. uh, but in talking with my family and uh, and kind of getting their green light uh we've decided that uh you know, again santa clarita uh is the is the right place and uh, and now is is the right time okay great um and so if you are elected what are some of your top priorities for the santa clarita community you know it's funny because uh you know santa clarita has <clears throat> changed um you know significantly and some things are are uh you know have remained the same but you know we are no longer the small town that I grew up in. Uh, so I believe we are we are truly at a at a tipping point, and the decisions that the council is going to make over the next several years will really determine whether Santa Clarita remains a premier city in California or starts to go the way of uh, you know of other big towns. And you know you've seen some indicators over the last you know several years. You seen last year to you know there were more murders in Santa Clarita than in years past. Uh, is that a is that an anomaly or is that something that is uh, continuing? You, you can't go 48 hours without hearing or reading about uh, a major traffic uh, incident. We've had 10 fatalities in the last 20 months, or at least reported, uh, on, on our roads. Uh, you know, just last night I was at uh, uh, my, my, my kids' dinner with dads 
event at the school and, and several of the parents approached me about you know, the concerns of, of watching a drug deal happen at, uh, at Veterans Plaza, how they won't take their kids to the New Hall uh, library because uh, you know, you know, homeless folks are, are using the bathrooms there as, you know, as for their own you know, personal uh, uh, use. And, and we, we need to utilize some of the nonprofits we have and partner and, and look to find uh, solutions <clears throat> to that. We need to continue to uh, you know, to build and expand our open space and, and, and parks. You know, I, I spent a lot of time at Central Park and Heritage Park and you know and, and the, the the sports complex coaching my kids over the last several years. And it's always very difficult to find space, even just a little ten by ten yard by ten yard space for my five year old girls soccer team. Um, and I think that that's what the council is missing. You know, there, there, you know, there is no one on the council now who has young kids. You know, and, and right. you know, roughly 60% of the city's population is under the age of 45, and that's because of the young families. Mm -hmm. And that's a perspective that I can bring that uh, that is missing from the council right now. And I think that we have to have all different types of perspectives represented on the city, and particularly when 60% of this population is under that age of 45, we need at least one council member. Uh, uh, who understands and is living the life of most people here in, in Santa Clarita. Okay, great. Well, thank you so much for joining us today, Mr. Smythe, uh, and congratulations on your plans to run uh, for Santa Clarita City Council. And uh, it was a pleasure meeting you today, and thanks so much for stopping by. Thank you. I'm sure I'll be back.